Hello, my friends, and welcome to another First Chapter Friday. Today we're going to do The Girl Who Drank the Moon. Chapter 1, in which a story is told. Yes, there is a witch in the woods. There has always been a witch. Will you stop fidgeting for once, my stars? I have never seen such a fidgety child. No, sweetheart, I have not seen her. No one has, not for ages. We've taken steps so that we will never see her. Terrible steps. Don't make me say it. You already know anyway. Oh, I don't know, darling. No one knows why she wants children. We don't know why she insists that it must always be the very youngest among us. It's not as though we could just ask her. She hasn't been seen. We make sure that she will not be seen. Well, of course she exists. What a question. Look at the woods. So dangerous. Poisonous smoke and sinkholes and boiling geysers and terrible dangers every which way. Do you think it is by accident? Rubbish. It was the witch. And if we don't do as she says, what will become of us? Do you really need me to explain it? I'd rather not. Oh, hush now. Don't cry. It's not as though the Council of Elders is coming for you now, is it? You're far too old. From your family? Yes, dearest. Ever so long ago, before you were born, he was a beautiful boy. Now finish your supper and see to your chores. We'll all be up early tomorrow. The day of sacrifice waits for no one. And we must all be present to thank the child who will save us for one more year. Your brother, how could I fight for him? If I had, the witch would have killed us all. And then where would we be? Sacrifice one or sacrifice all. That is the way of the world. We couldn't change it even if we tried. Enough questions. Off with you, fool child. Every year, the people of the Protectorate leave a baby as an offering to the witch who lives in the forest. They hope the sacrifice will keep her from terrorizing their town. But the witch in the forest, Zan, is kind. She shares her home with a wise swamp monster and a perfectly tiny dragon. Zan has rescues children and delivers them to welcoming families on the other side of the forest, nourishing the babies with starlight on the journey. One year, Zan accidentally feeds a baby moonlight instead of starlight, filling the ordinary child with extraordinary magic. Zan decides that she must raise this girl, whom she calls Luna, as her own. As Luna's 13th birthday approaches, her magic begins to emerge with dangerous consequences. Meanwhile, a young man from the Protectorate is determined to free his people by killing the witch. Deadly birds with uncertain intentions flock nearby. A volcano quiet for centuries rumbles just beneath the Earth's surface and the woman with the tiger's heart is on the prowl. All right. We have this book at the library. It's in our fantasy section. If you would like to check it out.